Ocean news is always breaking. And this is happening now. Today's report, Dead Zone in the Gulf. The numbers are in. The 2011 Gulf of Mexico hypoxic zone or dead zone measures 6,765 square miles, nearly the size of New Jersey. This is a huge blow to the already fragile Gulf ecosystem and economy. It begins innocently enough. Farmers use fertilizers to increase the output of their crops so that we can have more food on our tables and more food to sell to the rest of the world. But it's this agricultural runoff, combined with urban runoff, that brings excessive amounts of nutrients into the Mississippi and starts a chain of events in the Gulf that ends deadly. These nutrients fuel large algal blooms that then sink, decompose, and deplete the water of oxygen. This is hypoxia. When oxygen in the water is so low, it can no longer sustain marine life in bottom or near bottom waters, literally a dead zone. When the water reaches this hypoxic state, fish and shrimp leave the area, and anything that can't escape, like crabs, snails, and starfish, die. So the very fertilizers that are helping our crops are disrupting the food chain and devastating our food sources in the ocean. This year, the massive flooding of the Mississippi River significantly increased the nutrient pollution flowing into the Gulf. If the amount of fertilizer and sewage dumping into the Gulf isn't reduced, the dead zone will continue to grow, wreaking havoc on the ecosystem and threatening some of the most productive fisheries in the world. 